From light to darkness and back to light through music can best describe the story of Sonia Olu Abdurrahman, a blind music producer. And our correspondent, Owa Ola Awako, tells us more. This is one of those regular songs, right? I had the same impression until I was exposed to two dimensions to it that needed to be explored. The first is the passion and age of the singers, while the second is the fact that their father, a visually impaired man, is their manager. I needed to understand the way the family has been coping with the talents and predicament under the same roof. Ikorudu area of Lagos is the location and here is the house where the any kids live. Mr. Sonyaulu Abdurrahman is the father of the talented kids. He is a native of Ikorudu and a graduate of Taishulari College of Education. He devoted his time to teaching from 2003 and his family until 2010 when the unexpected started. Two years later, he came down with full-blown glaucoma. I started noticing some black spots in everything that I looked at. So when I went to the hospital, I was told I had glaucoma. So. I never knew it was such a serious situation because I believe every high disease has a solution. So, but later on, I was told it was in the advanced stage and then that the operation cannot be done. When I fell into depression... Even as he fell into depression, he did not allow himself to wallow in it for too long. Rather, he decided to encourage his children, who are talented in music, for them to be self-reliant, hence bringing back light into his world. When I fell into depression, my wife encourages me that I should try and do something out of life. She stood by me. Then I decided that, okay, let me just go and work with the talents of my children. And I started working with them, encouraging them to write songs. And then at times I composed the song with them. And that was how it started. <laughs> Eniola and Eniton are 14 and 17 years old respectively. They started singing from a very tender age with the help of their father who discovered them early majority of radio station uh, have solidarity for me but i try to tell them that it is not for me if i want to do music i will sing the song but this song is made by my children they are the ones singing not me so attention should be focused more on them and not me so and since majority have been accepting them like that so they can go out and do their music without me following them but the battle of coping with the disability of the man of the house was not for him alone even his wife shed tears many times on realizing the reality before her a period of anticlimax in the family so the doctor was not telling me that there's nothing we can do to this eyes anymore is in the advanced stage something like that and i was like but we just discover it's not as if we've known this thing for a long time that we didn't do anything and he said he said look there are some people there he even made mention of eight year old child that the girl has glaucoma and it's within three months or so the eyes is gone i was like wow is this as bad as that? And the doctor said, you just have to cooperate with him. You have to, you know, he was advising me and I started crying. That's so no. This is not happening. But unlike many women who would choose to take to their heels, Uluwa Yemisi Sonya Ulu remained with her husband, whom she describes as the best man. 
he's just a good man he he, he, he does everything when he when he was working when he collects the salary he's the man that will keep it in his pocket when i need anything just go there and pick it so he, he has not been it's not a man that has been hiding or that i don't know his pay you know it's just a kind of man so there is no two ways about what i could have done than just to stay with him mr sonyaolu's mother also got into serious panic on realizing that the breadwinner of the home was to be in perpetual darkness <laughs> The any kids, as they are fondly called, have now become the light that the blind sees. Creating music with and for them brings back the lost hope. This journey of life is the way that do is like just the way that my father has to go and the journey where he was starting from, you know. Eniola brought out her guitar to share with me some of the songs. Tell me why not to break how far just tell me if you can't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone, please. Hey. They describe that low moment when the memories of how caring their father had been, the most cherished memories of their life. If I can actually flash back when he was seen, I'll be like, why me? Why me? Why me? I will not be crying. I'll just be thinking of those times that my dad will take us shopping and all those things that it's not more dear again. I'll just be. But due to my mom's support, she assists us too. But they never allowed the society to dictate to them. Rather, they have chosen to move on with life through the gift of singing. I don't like them talking to me like that. I'll just say that ah, we'll leave the matter. Let's talk on another thing so that I won't be crying or heartbroken. And Niola, the younger sister, is the lead vocalist and composer. Although her career choice is to become a medical doctor, she believes music will never leave her veins. One wish she nurses is for established musicians like Tiwa Savage, Simi, Faust and others to put their professional vocals into her lyrics. I've been singing, I wish to meet with Simi, Tiwa Savage, to have song with them. Both sisters are encouraged to sing songs with moral lessons. Mr. Sonyaolu, in trying to keep up with his responsibility, has also developed his vocational skills. He makes these liquid soap and sells them to support his wife, who has practically become the breadwinner of the family. My dad makes this shower, you know, and it's very good for the body. It's nice. You and me, you and me stay together. 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 You and me, we gonna be together. With a statistic of more than one million people above the age of 40 who are visually impaired, Abdul Rahman Sanyaulu has become a source of inspiration and motivation to not just his immediate family but the larger society. A message with this song is to always speak up in times of worry and dejection. Dreams come true, yeah, 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 dreams come true. Eniola and Enitong have come to accept their fate by having a visually impaired father, but they've not allowed this predicament to affect their dreams. They sing songs to encourage people in the society to believe in themselves and to speak out and to always hold on to their dreams. And they hope that someday they will live to fulfill their dreams. Allah Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.